Hey guys, so this is the entry down that way. And you've got these beautiful townhomes across the street. And so this is in the very front part of the community. These are your neighbors and you are the corner here. So let's go take a look. Go up the stairs here. Garage is here. Also enter here. And this is what's next to you. This is track stacking, so it holds up pretty well. The stairs are Trex material, composite material. Up here you do have a wood deck. Oop, look at that little guy, hi! Let's go take a look inside. The front door is on the second floor. And you come in the front door. Right into the kitchen. U-shaped kitchen. Very nice, lots of space. Gas stove. Beautiful hardwood floors. You do have a trash pullout here, which is always nice. Granite countertops, backsplash. Maybe it could use a little updating, but nice. The dishwasher is in a little bit of an odd space. You don't typically see it right there, but it's a good use of the space, I guess. So, Lots of cabinetry for storage, tons of counter space, a nice bar area here as well. And then you have your dining. And that flows into your living. The floors look like they're in great shape. Got your TV above this fireplace. Looks great. Let's step out here to the balcony.
It's marketed as having a view of the 10th green, and this is true. There are a lot of trees, but you can see it. A little bit. I think this is a great size backyard for a town home and you're tucked away here on the corner. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and head upstairs. Okay. So up here, you have two rooms. You have the master bedroom. which is quite spacious. And you do have this balcony out here too. So this is a nice view. I'm not sure what that noise is. They may be doing maintenance on the golf course or somewhere. Decent sized closet. Sort of a walk-in. In the master bath, tile floor, nice tile shower. Everything seems to be super clean. And well maintained. Toilet is over there. Nice vanity, you've got a nice window. Lots of storage. Okay, and we'll go down to the other bedroom. You've got your laundry here in between the master and the second bedroom up here. Love those cabinets above the washer and dryer for more storage. Decent size bedroom here. That has its own private bath. and a bathtub and shower combination. It's tiny, but we'll do for a guest bath. Okay, and we'll go downstairs. and look at the first level.
do have a nice powder room here. Pedestal sink for guests. Okay. And then we can go downstairs and take a look at the first floor. So this is where you would come in the back. Take out the trash here. And the garage. So you would enter here on the on the first floor through the garage. That looks like a central vac system, which I didn't even notice upstairs. HVAC unit is located here. So you've got these pretty tile floors down here. You go down the hallway into this bedroom on the first floor. Nice size bedroom with its private bath. And you do have the patio, access to the back patio here. These closets, you've got a nice big storage area here. It looks like they have cats, but I do not smell cat. It smells, it doesn't smell clean, but it smells, doesn't smell like anything really. There's nothing, there's no scent covering up anything. It just smells like nothing. They do keep the litter box in there behind this door. I'm sure when they're here, maybe it's out. And then this door hosts the water heater. Okay, so that completes every floor maybe a little paint, but everything else seems to be like it's in great condition. Even what needs to be touched up with the paint, it just is just normal wear and tear that you would find in any home. But nice tall ceilings, even on this first floor, plenty of light. Each room has access to some sort of balcony or deck, except for that bedroom that third bedroom upstairs. Let me know what you think.